everybody back for another video um, as I promised I would try and upload regularly it's been a couple of weeks now but um, I've been just trying to get my head around this whole project and working out where things are at because it has been a minute so um, I got a couple of things just behind me down here on the floor uh, the front and rear bumpers and I also went and picked up the engine um, which I didn't have here last time. Oh, I've got a, I got that to show you too. Right, so as you can see here, I got the the rear bumper and the front bumper. Um, obviously, this one's the front one right here in front of me. Um, so. Basically, um, I noticed that there's still some R and R work to do on this. You can see a couple of holes just gaping through there on the um, on the support, and um, they're probably going to need sandblasting and some some repairs, but nothing too major. Um, I put some. Um, like some anti corrosion rust spray on there yesterday um, so hopefully that makes the bolts um, free up so I can rip this apart a bit easier um, I also got over here the engine which um, which is now gonna get a few more upgrades than what I originally anticipated it's basically going to get a full overhaul, full rebuild. Uh, my engine builder talked me into that, which is probably the better way to go anyway. He wants to build a car and then find out that something's wrong down, short while down the track or even on initial startup. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna basically rebuild the heads and um, uh, basically. Um, do the do the bottom end, new rings, pistons, and it's not super expensive. Anyway, um, I just got that here so that I can grind out, smooth out some of those original casting marks that you can see across the sides of the heads there, and also some some of the marks that are on the on the block. Um, origin like the casting original casting marks, but nothing too crazy. Um, yeah. So when I had um, when I was trying to show you last time the this wheel arch, you can see just in here, see some of the fabrication repairs that went on inside of this wheel arch. Uh, those are the kind of things that I'm not you can see there's a couple of little holes nothing crazy but still wasn't done sorry it's not focused no, that's a bit better yeah so it just wasn't wasn't finished nice um, and I'm not sure um, there's a couple of there's a couple of little imperfections that looks worse on camera, but obviously they've got to be fixed. And then there's those there's a dent there. Can you see that dent there? And there's a bit of a dent there too, which uh, which that was an accident that I done. Um, and now that I've got the I got the roof pulled down. Oops. Um, yeah. You, most of this stuff's all good to go. Um, I want to see if I can get a if I can get these front fenders, like the inners, if I can get them chromed out. But um, it's probably going to need to be file finished beforehand. Um, I did it. I did uh, when I was going through some of my stuff the other day. I found um, I found some. Uh, some stuff that had been 
that I had trimmed up from some time ago. And um, that was one of the valve covers. Um, but I mean, this is, it just needs a bit of a polish up, right? And um, the fan shroud, there's, um, there's a couple of things that I had that I had chromed when I was really, really hyper into this build and then, yeah, unfortunately lost a bit of interest, but um, anyway, it's all good. We're back there now, so need to press forward, move forward and um, not dwell too much on what was and focus on what is. So anyway, um, I'm still, I'm still trying to get things together, like working out um, basically what I need to um, still complete repairs on and it's all packed up here, but I've got to get all that out as well. There's some, there's some parts that I don't know, um, that I don't know their location. So I'm probably best to find those things. Uh, um, one was this, um, the bumper bar overrider, the front bar overrider. Um, it is actually in quite good condition. It doesn't look it there on the floor, but it, it really is. I mean, but we'll see how it comes up. I think it will probably need to be road chromed. Um, uh, I have a new grill. Oh, it's not a new, it's a new old, new old. No, it's not even a new old, so it's a second hand one. I, I bought, I bought another one um, from someone in the US and when it got here, it wasn't in really the condition that I thought it was. So, um, I'm glad I got another one here and hopefully this one, yeah, it's a little bit, you can see there's a bit of a kink up there on the, just next to, on the left hand side of where that front emblem would go. There's a slight kink that, um, that might come out, I don't know. We'll see, it's super lightweight stuff. Uh, I got another one here too. I'm still, I, I don't know, maybe, I don't know which is the good ones. It's either that one there or that one. I have to get them out anyway. I'm still, like I said, getting my head around where everything is. And um, it's, it's a lot of, a lot of parts to, to work out to make this build go um, 100%. Anyway. Okay, so today I spent a few hours organizing what's what. Not all of what's what, just some of what's what. Um, so I've got a little bit better understanding now of Okay, so where we were at this morning um, was I was basically looking at what else needed to go to the paint shop. And I got myself a tiny bit of a surprise. It's not it's not super bad, but anyhow, looking at the um, looking at the front bumper, um, the su the support, it's it's not real great uh, but you can see there's a little bit more it's a little bit more rust in there than i originally anticipated but again like um, i can get this i'll sand i'll get my my buddy over at the paint shop he can he can sandblast this and then we'll have a look and see really how bad it is um the rear bumper mounts they're all pretty good. Um, they're just going to need to be sandblasted and painted. Uh, pretty straightforward. Um, I do have down here still wrapped actually. Um, they're the three the three pieces for the front bumper. Um, all being re-chromed, so, um, 
there's that and the steering wheel and column that'll need to be uh, probably just painted I don't believe that I need to do any repairs on that thank goodness and yeah basically just digging out um, I was digging out mostly the parts that I need for the engine build because that's the part that I'm probably going to move on next right just to get that just to get that underway because um, it's going to be he'll be over at the shop for about three three four weeks I believe he said and then um, when he's got that sorted I can go over there and we'll um, watch it getting dynoed uh, so I dug out this stuff. Oh, there's the so there's my there's my aluminium glide, and there is the torque converter under here. The torque converter come with come with the training when I bought it, and as I mentioned before, this one came out of a '67 Camaro. Um, I bought a new sump as well. It's a chrome sump. The sump was going to be more expensive to chrome my original one than to buy this one. So whether or not it was a good move, I'm not really even sure of whereabouts it's made. But uh, hopefully, hopefully it's good. Doesn't leak and there's no problems with the flatness of where it um, bolts up to and then uh, it's a bit of nostalgia here for me <laughs> the uh, original water pump someone had upgraded it at some stage I guess the previous owner put the um, HEI distributor on it and the uh, there you go the original um, carburetor two barrel carby and again it's probably I can't I don't know for sure if these ones come out with a generator or if it come out with an alternator but anyway there's an alternator there and then um, the master cylinder it's like really old school no booster just the master cylinder so what i've got is some of the parts which will be going on to my build which was the blaster three coil some eight and a half mil leads and um, a new distributor um, some bling now this is the bling bling <laughs> I got the uh, Enduro Shine Edelbrock Carby, the Enduro Shine Inlet Manifold. Now this one's keeping um, keeping like the originality of where your oil fill is, which um, on my particular model it had the the breather and filler at the front of the intake. And I also have the short series Edelbrock Enduro Shine water pump. Um, there's the some mechanical fuel pump, which is made by Holly. And um, And then the oil pump drive, ARP. Now, if anyone doesn't know about these, it's a must do on a rebuild because these won't break. Virtually all the other ones, they will break. You're welcome to 
leave a comment down below if you know of one that doesn't, but I'm pretty certain that the ARP ones have a shot. All right. Okay, so in addition, the other thing that I have is um, in this box here, oh, I might, I'm not going to get it out now, but anyway. So basically all you're looking at right now is just boxes, but I've got some other cool stuff in here, which is the uh, front emblem and rear emblem, which is pretty sweet. And also here is the, oh, what's in, I think in these two boxes is the disc brake conversion kit. Um, here's the new master cylinder and uh, booster. And, yeah, and that one is a starter motor. I'll get them out next time. And the other thing, what I've got here, which came in from the US about a week or maybe two ago, is um, all the stainless steel um, front end kit, all the bolt kit. Um, and then this one in the in this package here, that's the, um, that's the Y bone replacement for the banana bone um yeah so i'll unbox those because um, i'm actually looking forward to seeing that myself so i can show you guys too <laughs> um what else uh, guys i think that's pretty much it for today um i mean yeah, sure, there's probably more things that I dug up today and found all the aluminium um, trims for the side, um, which is all going to be replaced with new because, well, it was just a lot easier. Let's face it, there's a lot of time and effort goes into trying to um, repair all those aluminium trims, especially in the condition that these ones are. I don't think there was one that wasn't straight, dented, banged or bent or whatever. So anyway, it's all been replaced. So um, yeah, just what I mentioned before in regards to that intake manifold, um, you can see this is the, this is the original one um, and it's got the breather filler there at the front. So um, yeah pretty pretty pleased with everything it's like i bought a lot of this stuff over uh, maybe 12 years ago no joke so i guess the only good thing out of that was that the australian dollar was a little bit better at that time so um whereas now i think it's like around uh, i don't even think it's like 60 cents at the moment like 60 australian cents to the US dollar, but it's around that figure anyway. So um, basically, what else have I got to tell you? Um, there's still a bunch, bunch of little decisions to be made and things to be completed, but look, you gotta start somewhere. A lot of people may think it's pretty overwhelming to, to do a full rebuild on a car like this, a rotisserie rebuild. Um, but it's probably one of those things that you just do once in a lifetime, I guess. I don't know. Some people like it. Some people probably do eat something, but I mean, we're getting there. Um, I think the hardest part of today was actually just trying to find things. Um, but anyhow, I mean, turn on those post notifications too. Uh, um, hoping to get another video out in the next couple of days um, so turn on those post notifications um, thumbs up if you like the video I hope it wasn't too boring um, give me some feedback drop some feedback down below because that's probably gonna be the most beneficial part of um, me doing these videos so please drop a comment down below um, even like some um, some feedback that I can work with, you know what I mean? Uh, it doesn't have to be um, doesn't have to be positive feedback. It can be negative as well. I'm pretty easy going. 
Um, any feedback's good feedback, I suppose. So I can try and make these videos a little bit better for you guys. So, okay. Um, anyway, I won't bore you any longer. Like I said, I'm gonna bounce. Um, please give me a thumbs up, like the video, um, turn on those notifications, and subscribe. All right, catch ya.